and uh, pay for that diplexer. Thank you so much for your call. We appreciate it so much for what you're doing. They just sent me a, a listing on everyone that has sent their gifts, and, and I, and I, I want to be able to pray for them later on. But right now, we have a very special guest with us, and uh, this happens to be Father Ruki. He was blinded by a firecracker that blew up in his face as a child. Father Peter Mary Ruki's own experience of being healed through prayer gave him a, a core faith in the power of divine healing. Later, life circumstances gave him the opportunity to become an instrument for the flow of God's healing power to others. To stop and think of the calling that God gives a man, and he's obedient to the voice of God, and he follows through with it, and God can use him all over the world because he said, yes, Lord, here am I, send me. That's what, ha that's what happens when an intercessor will say, yes, Lord, here am I, send me. God can use you in a tremendous way. For the past 16 years, Father Ruki has devoted himself full-time to a ministry of healing, traveling a world around the world, leading healing masses. And today, he will offer a healing mass at Our Lady of Belen Catholic Church at 101 North 10th Street in Belen. So all of Belen, Albuquerque, you're going to be blessed in a very special way. Get out there early. It starts at 6.30 p.m. Father Ruki, we want to welcome you to God Answers Prayer. It's so good to have you with us. God thank, bless thank you. Thank you, Blackie. Thank you. It's so <coughs> blessed to have a beautiful singer of the Lord, praiser of the Lord. You know, and, you know that's what David was. He yes. strummed his, well, I guess it wasn't a guitar, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Uh, it was a liar, I guess. And, uh, you make a liar out of me if I don't want to. <laughs> uh, you know, just a, as a little practical example of what prayer does, uh, a young man from Eau Claire, I do declare Eau Claire, uh, Wisconsin, drives to Chicago. It's a six hour one way uh, to our first Saturday healing masses, which are the biggest uh, thing we have in Chicago every month on the first Saturday of the month in the morning. Uh, his friend, uh, in a joking way, put a gun to his head and dragged him uh, to this uh, mass, this healing mass, uh, one Saturday, I think around last year, September, October. and. Uh, uh, he had a complete uh, turnaround to the Lord, and this, he gave me his dog tag. He was in the military for some years. He's married now, and uh, here was his dog tag. The bottom line, as they always say, is uh, to tell people if he gets into a fix, you know, an accident or what, mm. whether they should call the rabbi or the uh -huh. minister or the priest, uh -huh. and look what he has. Can you make out the loud bottom line? Atheist. That's it. Atheist. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, and now he's a pistol for, for Christ. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. That's wonderful. They gave me that, his dog oh, tag. that's wonderful. A little uh, example of what prayer will do is you uh, brought it out uh, in the beginning of our program. Uh, so, um, well, <clears throat> I think uh, I'm the guest here, so I cannot, uh, <laughs> so why don't you fire questions, uh, maybe that would make it more interesting than making this a monologue. <laughs> well, okay, I'll, t I'll tell you what, uh, they did uh, give us some questions over here, and one of the things that I'd like for you to do, Father Ruki, is just share with us, share with us uh, what God is placing in your heart. We want you to, to make yourself at home and, and just let the Holy Spirit take over totally, completely. We're, we run a TV station where the Holy Spirit is in complete control of this station. And we glorify the Lord Jesus Christ at all times. And, and we want you to make yourself at home and, and just share from your heart uh, what God's placing in your heart for the body of Christ. I believe that God is going to heal many people in a very special way. Because God has anointed you for that ministry. Well, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> I often say 
and it keeps us all very humble. Uh, God being pure spirit, he has to come to us uh, through our senses. Um, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas uh, and the scholastic theologians in the Middle Ages uh, had a uh, one-liner <coughs> which goes like this, nihil in intellectu quod non est prius in sensu. There's nothing in our intellect that has not first come through our senses. And uh, uh, in fact, I uh, tell people jokingly, uh, Mary and Joseph came to Bethlehem because Caesar Augustus declared a census, so they came to their census <laughs> in Bethlehem. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> so we cannot perceive God except through sight, smell, hearing, taste, touch. Uh, and so he has to uh, come to us through our parents. He could create us directly, but he, you know, he has our parents fall in love, and mm -hmm. here we are. Mm -hmm. And you've had the same experience as parents yourselves. <clears throat> so uh, that's where we stand. We're just uh, the seeable, audible uh, uh, presence, you know, that, that the Lord has to use um, being God uh, and having made us uh, sense, sensible creatures uh, that he has to use us uh, to make his, his presence felt. Um, so, and that's why, of course, he became man he put on our, line, our lineaments, as the gospel says it, and so we could see God, you know, and, and hear him and so on, feel him. And he continues that, of course, in the Eucharist. We can eat him and be nourished by him and see him. In fact, in most of our uh, healing masses, not all of them, some people will see Jesus in the host at Mass. Wow. Happens at every Mass. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has allowed this old sinner also to see him sometimes after the words, this is my body. Mm -hmm. And then people, after the consecration of the uh, chalice, this is my blood, all of a sudden they see blood on the chalice and in my hands, you know. And so he, he, he has to make his presence felt in this way. Well, uh, I, uh, how did I get into this, I guess, is yeah, what you're I, going I, to ask me. Well, uh, uh, I uh, was at, invited by a very outstanding uh, Servite. I'm a Servite priest. Uh, we go back to the time of um, St. Francis and St. Dominic, Middle Ages, 1233, as a matter of fact. Our Lord died at the age of 33, presumably, so Our Lady uh, chose that year, 1233, Jubilee year, to um, appear to seven businessmen uh -huh. uh, in Florence, Italy, the art capital of the world, they say, or center, and uh, uh, she gave them the old finger and <laughs> told them the usual basic gospel uh, message, uh, reform your lives, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, you know, do penance, fast, and preach the gospel. Well, that's what they did. That's how we started. Well, <clears throat> one, that, as I began to say, a Father James Mary Keene, you see, we take Mary's name as uh, when we I become that, yeah. Servites. Mm -hmm. um, we take her name, but not in vain. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, because we are servants of Mary, that's what we're called. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, 
so uh, uh, he uh, was a very outstanding man and television star also in the uh, infancy of television he had a program in Chicago on NBC there at WMAQ I believe for many uh, a moon it was called behold thy mother and uh, so uh, it seems Our Lady uh, as with all religious orders they're founded to meet some need you know uh, you see a lot of orphans around the streets. You decide, you know, you're going to do something for them. Well, Mother Teresa, she saw all those people dying on the streets in Calcutta, so she started her That's congregation right. to come to yes. their uh, assistance. So it seems Our Lady uh, chose us to keep before the church the, uh, the passion of her son, Jesus. Uh, and uh, her own uh, suffering with him uh, because he was the new Adam and she was the new Eve and sort of thing and uh, so uh, that's who, what we do and uh, uh, so uh, that's our special charism and uh, so when we went to uh, uh, went to Ireland with this Father James Mary Keene. Seven of us, unholy founders, those seven in Florence have been canonized saints, but we were not canonized <laughs> by a long shot. But uh, we uh, went there in 1948, and uh, I, uh, we uh, obtained uh, Owen Row O'Neill's castle outside of Armagh where St. Patrick's feast was last Monday of course where he started the ball rolling in Ireland against the Druids the Irish don't like to think they were Druids once you know <laughs> but that's uh, what they were before Patrick got onto them and he started the church there in Armagh in uh, way back in the fifth century and uh, so uh, we obtained this uh, uh, property from the Cardinal uh, Archbishop of Armagh, Cardinal Dalton at that time, and bought the place from him. And uh, from the first days I was there, people came uh, to be blessed. Let's, and let's, let's, let's wait right there. Okay. From the first days that you got there, mm -hmm. people came to get blessed. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, if you'll go to your phone and call somebody, tell him to tune in, I believe that today God's going to bless you in a special way. Remember that God's grace is upon this broadcast. God's glory is inhabited in these homes that we're going into in a very special way. And I believe that his miracles will be taking place even today. Father Rookie is going to be praying for every one of you that is listening to this broadcast. So call your loved ones, tell them to tune in. We're going to go for a short message. We're going to be back in just a few minutes with Mark. Directed us never to borrow a cent and that we were to pay cash for everything. And God has been allowing us to do that all the way since 1975. We've been trusting and, and glorifying God because, see, God really wants us to go to him and he wants to answer our prayers so that he'll be glorified. So right now, God is being glorified through this TV station because everybody throughout the country knows that this Channel 11 operates dead free, glorifying the King of Israel. And they know that the people of God, the saints of God, have come forward and kept this station strong. So thank you, thank you, family God, for what you're doing. Even with the diplexer, when they told us that if that diplexer was to go out, we would be off for two weeks. And we needed that first 13,000 up front right away. And right away, you came and brought your gifts. And now, the second 13,000 will be due in two weeks. And we're trusting and believing God that God will speak to his people again. It'll come to pass in a very special way. Even this building, that's when we built it. What did you do? You paid cash for it. Thank you for your love and for being so wonderful. And I want to thank... Uh, Father Rookie for being here and for the calling that God has given him. And people started coming. 
That's just what he was sharing. And blessings were going to fall, fall upon in a very special way. Tell me what happened. Yes, well, uh, as we began to say, they came just, just to be blessed. Yes. You know, priests are supposed to bless people, so some of them came back and declared they had been healed and cured. So the first thing you know, busloads of people were arriving, and we had to have the services outdoors. That's how I started in dead earnest. <clears throat> and I have a one-liner for dead earnest, too. Mr. and Mrs. Maggot were found making love in dead earnest. <laughs> I'm glad he was dead. So that's how I started in dead earnest. And uh, uh, so, uh, but I only did that for five years in Ireland. I was there for five years in the north of Ireland. Uh -huh. Some wag and our servites said, they have all that trouble in Northern Ireland. Now they sent Rookie over there on top of it. <laughs> More trouble. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is a rather troublesome ministry because it makes waves, you know. <laughs> people don't know how to handle, you know, when people come out of wheelchairs or the blind see and so on. <laughs> well, it's just like in Jesus' time, you know. <laughs> Be careful, don't do it on the Sabbath sort of thing and all that. You know. <laughs> don't step on people's toes. By the way, I wanted, I, I meant to, from the beginning, to thank you for inviting us, rookie that I am, uh, to, your, to be on your uh, television uh, show, uh, Blackie. And, uh, Father Rookie, uh, it's, I believe that it's God that has set it up in such a way because Every person that comes here, I really believe it's God that brings them here. And he always, that person always has a very special message for the body. And every person that God brings here has a very special love for Jesus. And you have a very special love for God. Well, everybody, of course, uh, <clears throat> has uh, a charism that he must share. Don't put our talents in the napkin, but right. uh, use them. So in any case, uh, I only did this five years in Ireland. There were many. Now when I go on the television in Ireland, people from way back 40 years, 50, 40, 45 years ago, uh, come on, like uh, one man brought his daughter out, it was 30 years, 1949, 50 or whatever it was. Uh, she was born blind and uh, received her sight instantly. And, uh, uh, they have exhibit A, B, C, some people who received uh, a nurse who lost her voice in an accident some years before and also uh, had a, <clears throat> a back problem. Uh, she got up on the stage and started talking. She said, I don't want to stop because I don't want to lose my voice again. <laughs> <laughs> she was always going around and, and oh. aspirate, you know, <laughs> talking. Well, that sort of thing. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> uh, please uh, ask me more questions. So that's how I started in dead earnest over there. But as I say, I only did that for five years. And then the Servites, you know, we religious have evolved poverty, so we go wherever we're sent. They had me do everything else but this for the length of our Lord's life, 33 years. And I was sent to this country and that country, different work, but not this, until finally I was <coughs> working 16 and a half years finally in the Ozarks. And uh, uh, where they say, rat now, you know. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, my provincial in Chicago called me and said, come to Chicago rat now. <laughs> and I began to uh, begin this uh, work again in our big basilica of Our Lady of Sorrows in Chicago. You know, Father Rookie, we have, a, we have a very special friend out there. He owns Channel 38, uh, Jerry Rose. Oh, yes. And that's a Christian TV station there. Oh, yes. He, Maybe I'll be working. Yeah, I'll, 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 call, I'll call, call him up and oh, make sure oh, that uh, they get you in there. Thanks for the commercial. Tell me something about some of the miracles that have taken place. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that I know that one of the greatest miracles that takes place 
is when somebody receives Jesus Christ. Right. Because that's eternal salvation. In other words, that's a tremendous miracle. But there's other miracles that God brings in such a way that you're able to see and the faith is built up. Tell, tell me about some of those miracles. Yes. Well, uh, one that comes to mind especially has been uh, become world known now because it was so uh, uh, um, broadcast, I guess you'd say, all over is uh, a Scottish nurse uh, by the name of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, Heather Duncan. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I, uh, I remember her name by a little memory jogger. When you get elderly, you know, you have to hang people's names on memory hooks. So uh, I always think of her as, she done can, so can you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, she uh, was handling a big uh, patient as a nurse in Aberdeen, Scotland. Uh, and uh, it must have been one of those uh, Chestertonian type of nurses. You know, Chesterton was so big, uh, he uh, used to get up in the bus and give his seat to two ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it must have been a type like that, and it fell, the patient fell on her or injured her vertebrae in some way and rendered her uh, completely paralyzed. And uh, she was that way for about five or six years. And uh, she came to a place in uh, what was then Yugoslavia called Menjigoria. Perhaps you've heard of that, where Our Lady's allegedly has been appearing every day since June 24th, 1981. Well, we were having uh, services there in, a, of all places, the cemetery. And uh, so some of her friends, she got over there somehow and to pray and so on and uh, so they pushed her out to the cemetery and uh, we were having a service there for the uh, healing service so uh, to make a long story short we approached her and uh, I placed this cross upon her uh, and uh, then she took the cross and held it and this has the relics of our Servite saints, you know. The yes. presence of the saints has always been very powerful in the healing. Mm -hmm. St. Peter walked down the street yes, and just right. his shadow was enough to heal the people yes, uh, lying right. on the streets. Mm -hmm. So I've been blessing people with our saints, especially St. Peregrine, who's the patron of cancer mm -hmm. sufferers. He was healed instantly by our Lord coming off the cross and touching his cancer. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, so I asked her the usual question, do you believe uh, Jesus can heal you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, that's uh, a beautiful book too. And uh, uh, she said, oh yes, but I didn't come here for that. <laughs> so in any case, I said, well, uh, I quoted my namesake Peter on the steps of the temple for the lame man, you know. Silver and gold I have none, I can say that because I have the vow of poverty. Silver and gold I have none, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus, arise and walk. She got up out of the chair herself, hopped over her foot, her foot rests, and took her first steps gingerly and then walked down through the crowds and back. And then came back and took off her steel harness she had on her torso, threw it in the chair, and pushed her chair back to town. And that was, and that, uh, the Scottish television invited us over uh, next year uh, to um, redo this whole thing. And so there's a, a movie, they show it in the uh, British television every so often when things are dull, I guess, and they, they show this uh, tape, you know. And um, so that was one of, that stands out right away, but... Can, uh, can, can we wait to go we, on the next yes. one right after this? Let, let me do this. Uh, you know, after listening to God's word from Brother Ruki, I believe that his grace has fallen upon us in a very special way, and God is ready to heal in a very special way. And right now, this is what I'd like for you to do. I'd like for you to make a, a total commitment, a total commitment to God. If you've never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, 
I want you to make a total commitment, a commitment to God that you're going to walk with him. And through his grace, you'll be faithful to God. And through his grace, you'll walk in righteousness and holiness before God. Through the grace of God, as you cry out to God and you make that total commitment, God will see you through. And he'll answer your prayers and he'll allow you to walk in righteousness and holiness every day of your life. Because as you cry out to God, his grace will fall upon you and you'll be in the word morning and evening. You'll be meditating on the word. You'll be hiding the word of God in your heart. You'll be restraining your feet from every evil way that you may keep the word of God. So say this prayer with us. Mean it with all your heart as you confess him with your lips. I am convinced by God's word. I am convinced by God's word. That I am a lost sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ died for sinners and shed his blood to put away my sins. I now receive him as my personal Lord and Savior and will by his help confess him before man. Amen and amen and amen. By his help, we can declare the glory of God. Mm -hmm. By his help, we're telling about his wondrous deeds. Mm -hmm. By the help of God, by the glory and the praise of God. By his grace, we have been able to declare his glory. <laughs> so if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, call us right now and we'll send you a Bible. We'll send you some uh, scriptures. We'll send you information that can help you grow and get involved in the church, family of God. Let's go for a short break. We'll be back with more in just a few minutes. What's the most important thing about your relationship with Jesus Christ? It is the fact that you love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. Everything else in Christianity is based on this. And I want to thank KCHF for reminding us that we're to stay in love with the one who loved us so much that he gave us his all. With him, he freely gave us all things. And I just want to urge you to freely give and to support KCHF so that they can continue to press on reminding people that there's only one supreme love in our life, and that's Jesus. Mm. We're, we're sharing with, with uh, Fa uh, Father Rookie. By the way, I just want to announce, uh, be, before I go to Father Rookie, I just want to announce that uh, tonight he'll be over at uh, uh, Our Lady of Belen Catholic Church at 101 North 10th Street in Belen. And uh, all services begin at 6.30 p.m. So be sure and stop by there, I believe. And take somebody. Take somebody that needs a touch from God. Somebody that needs to be healed in a very special way. And right now, you're going to have time to pray for you. And in fact, from 10 to 1030, uh, Father Rook is going to be here with us, and he's going to be praying for all of you. We're going to believe God for miracles. For 30 minutes, we're going to, allow, we're going to believe that God's going to use him in a tremendous way as he's been used all over the country in praying for people. And, and, uh, and uh, God is healing his people in a very special way. Let me go back to Father Rookie again. Father Rookie had just finished sharing with us about this wonderful miracle, and you're going to start saying something else again. Yes, uh, but the, the smile, and perhaps it's not such a smile for Heather Duncan, is that um, she got back to Aberdeen, Scotland, and they took uh, x-rays of her uh, uh, back again, and she still has, uh, her vertebrae has not changed, and nerve endings, is, uh, she's just as she was when she was uh, injured. And um, so when she applies for a job, she cannot get one because <laughs> you're too much of a risk. You're not supposed to be walking around like this, and yet she is my best catcher up and down England when I go over there every year. She <laughs> especially with the wheelchair people because she oh. was there wow. <laughs> and she catches wow. people as they rest in the spirit you know mm. and uh she's as healthier than you or i you know isn't that wonderful <laughs> but she can't get a job <laughs> <laughs> father, father, father rookie 
there was a person that came in one day over here and shared, and shared, uh, she had had a heart attack. And a couple of men went to the hospital to pray. And then one of the senior pastors said, I have a word from God. It's in Psalms 112, verse 7. And he opened the Bible, and in Psalms 112, verse 7, it says, My heart is fixed trusting on the Lord. And as he read that scripture to this girl, Yvonne is her name, that she felt like God was taking her heart and just moving it back and forth and healed her totally, completely. And when she was sh sharing that with me, I received it in such a way that every person that I've given that scripture to that has had a heart attack, God has healed them totally, completely. And there's been about 18 or 20 people. And it's been tremendous. So when you were saying about the miracle prayer, I was receiving that myself too. I, I, I received things in such, such a way and it would just been powerful. But maybe you could share about this miracle prayer, what happens when you say this prayer. Because as you gave it to me, I received it. I mean, this is the beauty about being in the Word of God. You receive from God, and it's for everyone that wants to receive. You're so sensitive to the Spirit, that's why. Oh. You see, you're open to the Spirit, yes. and that's uh, what happens. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, you asked about this miracle prayer. I, I have popularized it, I guess you could say. Uh, it comes from God, obviously. Yes. Oh, so Solomon wrote thousands of years ago, there's nothing new under the sun, you know. So in that sense, it's, uh, it's uh, nothing new. I uh, wanted to congratulate you uh, and your Judeo-Christian uh, um, uh, work, uh, as you uh, were telling us about. I don't know if that was on the screen or not when you were telling us that, but uh, that is a marvelous uh, work, you know. Uh, my representatives in many places mm -hmm. are Jewish people. Yes, and my biggest uh, man in England is a an industrialist uh, convert Jew, uh, Bernie Ellis. Mm -hmm. He received a triple uh, <laughs> uh, healing in a very interesting way. It shows how God's power is not limited. A uh, lady, a very beautiful lady, Mary Payton, in Belfast, Northern Ireland, asked for prayers for him when he was in way down in Malaysia, uh -huh. suffering a deep malaise in Malaysia, and it was uh, his, he was almost bankrupt because he couldn't handle any business. He was, his, uh, uh, his uh, physical situation was so bad, and. Uh, he was in danger of losing his whole international uh, stainless steel business. All of a sudden, would you believe, as we were praying with this beautiful young lady uh, in uh, Belfast, he felt like a million. And he got back to England, and he was still feeling like a million, and uh, took instructions and became a, a Catholic oh, you, the next Easter. But uh, uh, I often... Uh, uh, tell a short one that maybe you enjoy, you can use sometime. Uh, I think it's a great compliment to our brother Jewish people. And uh, it's a little jinglet. Uh, roses <coughs> are red and violets are bluish. If it weren't for Easter, we might all be Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gave that out one time, and I got a nasty letter from some lady. She said I was anti-Jewish. I don't know how she figured that out, but and I, I thought it was a compliment to, to our Jewish brothers and sisters. But in any case, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is uh, uh, God's power is not limited. And so uh, when we, we pray in this, uh, this miracle prayer, is simply what you've been doing every day, I'm sure, on your program. It's a uh, giving ourselves totally to God. Our Holy Father, John Paul II, uh, yes. uh, has as his uh, coat of arms, yes. totus tuus, which is Latin for all yours, you know. Yes. And that's what this prayer really 
mm. is. Uh, it's like McDonald's. <coughs> we do it all for you, you know. <laughs> McDonald's hamburgers. <laughs> so it's a, it's a total giving of myself to God. And once we do that, I mean, we can be. Anything can happen, you know. Uh, and uh, we're all set to receive uh, yes. every yes. kind of yes. grace and healing. Yes. And he can do what he wills with us. So, so uh, that's really what it is. And, and of course, it's uh, also a, uh, <coughs> in the prayer, we ask the Lord to rid us of all uh, unforgiveness. Yes. And, uh, because uh, if I have any hatred or unforgiveness in me, obviously I can't be healed, you know. Or if I do get healed, I can, I'll still go to hell, you know, because uh, unforgiveness is the basic thing. It's against the, the greatest commandment, love of God and love of neighbor. That's right. Uh, hatred. Mm -hmm. So it's really a, where the action is as far as uh, healing goes. And uh, <clears throat> so I often tell in that respect about a, <clears throat> an Australian lad that a very outstanding uh, family in uh, <coughs> England invited me to pray over his 22-year-old. He had cancer of the marrow of the bone. Yes. And as we, uh, he had five days to live, according to the medics, he was yes. very low. And uh, in the hospital there in, in London area. So this uh, Anne Hutley, uh, very outstanding British uh, uh, citizen, a uh, non-Catholic, uh, uh, and she, uh, because of this miracle in Sydney, she also uh, became a Catholic recently. But any, anyway, uh, uh, she uh, invited us to pray with this young man. He been befriended him. And uh, as we prayed, somehow the Lord gave us a word of knowledge that there was unforgiveness in him. So I put it to him, would there be anybody in your life that you should forgive, young man? Can we hold it right now? Yes. <clears throat> uh, could it be that uh, there's unforgiveness in your life? Right now you can go before God and ask him to cleanse you right now, to cleanse you of that unforgiveness. Ask God, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me. Remember that your heart has to be pure before God. And the only way that your heart can be pure before God is by that cleansing blood of Jesus Christ that was shed in Calvary. Your thoughts are to be pure before God. Your motives are to be pleasing in the eyes of God. Your hands are to be clean. You are to give your life totally, completely to God. You'll have an opportunity to do that. We have prayer partners that will pray with you so that you'll receive Jesus Christ and you'll get your healing. In the next 30 minutes, we're going to be praying for you. We're going to believe God for miracles. So call somebody, tell him to tune in. Will you do that? We're going to be back in about 60 seconds with more of God Answers Prayer. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these our children. They are important to us, and Channel 11 knows how special they are. That is why we bring to your children the gospel of Jesus Christ through children's programming. The 1100 Club makes it possible to bring such shows into your homes. Be a part of bringing the gospel to our children through the 1100 Club today. It is an important way to bring the little children unto Jesus Christ. to New Mexico. This is KCHF-TV Channel 11, Santa Fe, Albuquerque. Also seen on K61EQ, Channel 61 in Albuquerque, K58DW, Channel 58 in Taos, and K51DM in Southern Colorado. Jeremiah 33.3 3 says, Call unto me, 
and I will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things thou knowest not. Psalms 91, verse 14, 15, and 16 says, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I will deliver him. I will deliver him and honor him and show him my salvation. This is what God's going to do for you today. God's going to heal you. God's going to answer your prayers because what you're doing, you're picking up the phone. Phone. That's what you're doing. Your faith is going into action. Faith honors God. God honors faith. And you can receive your miracle right now. We're going to have uh, Father Ruki pray for every call that's coming in right now. And I want you to believe God for a miracle. Lisa, you're on the air. What is your prayer request this morning? I wanted to pray for my mom who has Parkinson's. Okay. And um, I'd like to believe that uh, she'll have a miracle completely. Lisa, uh, Father, Father Ruki, is, uh, God has given him the gift of healing. And I'm believing that God's going to hear our prayers in a very special way. And you're going to come back, call back, and give us a tremendous praise report. So would you pray for that, uh, Father Rookie? Yes. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, for my nephew, Kat, your daughter Mary, says, he has lifted up the lowly, cast the mighty down from their seats. Please hear the prayer, this lowly prayer of this humble woman as she asks in faith as she has believed so let it be done amen and amen amen and amen lisa god bless you we love you i love you god bless you thank you for calling lola you're on the air what is your prayer request this morning uh well god bless you blackie i see you most every morning in tv god bless you uh, but today i have to ask for an advice or a or a request okay first of all my my, re my advice I am, I'm asking you is that the whole about two days ago I was listening to a teaching of uh, Denny Haynes uh -huh. about forgiveness uh -huh. and it snapped something in my mind that it, it happened many years ago between me and my husband. Okay. But he did never did say anything until about a year before he died six years ago. and. Um, he said that for this thing, he would never, never forgive me, that he had never forget what I have done that day. Well, it wasn't a big deal. It's just that he went with me to town, and then he wasn't ready when I was about to come home, so I left him in town with my youngest son, mm -hmm. so they have to get a ride back home. And that day, he, we were having problems with my older son, and I told him that we had to forgive him and, and to help him out. And he said, you know what, I have something against you that I will never forgive you. And he reminded me about that many, that happened many years ago. So that day that Benny Haynes was uh, teaching about uh, forgiveness, mm -hmm. it snapped in my mind. And since then I have been uh, very bad, I feel bad because I don't know if he didn't forgive me, how the Lord is going to deal with me or... I love the Lord. I have loved the Lord for 43 years now, and I will never go back to where I was because I know from where he took me out. I love the Lord with all my heart. I praise him. I read the Bible every day, and I try to counsel other people. But now that this is not in my head about my husband telling me he died six years ago, now that he is dead because of Benny Henry prayer about an uncle that had died from a nephew, and then the nephew got saved, and he said, how I'm going to ask forgiveness, or how my uncle is going to forgive me? He is dead. Mm. So he said... Lola, <laughs> Lola mm -hmm. first of all, just let, me, just let me say this, that you love Jesus very, very much. He's very merciful. In other words, you have nothing to be concerned about. Jesus is holding you with his strong, righteous right hand. God's word is alive in your life. Any thoughts that come that are not according to the word of God, that's not from God. God's word is pure, and God loves you in a very special way. We never go, go back to what, what we, what, you already forgave. We never go back to yesterday. What I did yesterday, God has forgiven me. What I do today is what's going to count. 
And maybe Father, uh, Father Ruki would want to uh, share a little bit on that too. Yes, surely. We, <coughs> well, uh, we ask the Lord to continue to bless you and yes. to continue the work he has begun in you, Maria, and bring it to perfection in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We uh, uh, were talking about that uh, just before we uh, finished the last uh, uh, session yes. uh, about this young 22-year-old uh, Australian mm -hmm. as who uh, had somebody in his life he had to forgive. Mm -hmm. So we began praying for uh, this wound of unforgiveness to be uh, healed. And uh, pretty soon the tears began to flow, the outward sign of the inner healing. Mm -hmm. Well, then we uh, prayed uh, to the Lord and uh, I invoked the um, intercession of my brother Servite St. Peregrine, as I mentioned, and uh -huh. who's a patron of yes. uh, those suffering from cancer. And um, the sequel to that was the following year, this lady who had invited us to pray with him got up and witnessed that he had come back to uh, England from Australia to thank her and told her, from the moment I forgave that person in my life, mm -hmm. I knew I was healed. And now, but the little smile is, what is this young Australian doing in Australia? He's taking care of crocodiles on a crocodile farm. So I guess those tears were <laughs> crocodile tears. <laughs> And you're on the air. What is your prayer request this morning? My prayer request is for John and Tom that they will invite Jesus into their hearts. And for uh, my cousin Tom, who has just had a second stroke. His wife, Jean, who has cancer of the nose. And for Elizabeth and John Manning in Ireland. Elizabeth, my aunt and uncle, Elizabeth has Alzheimer's disease. And she has been deteriorating. And my uncle... Uh, need support for this time. Okay, can, can you repeat that again so we can write it down? Uh, uh, your, John, John and Tom. That yes. Say, now, who's John and Tom? Are they related to you? Yes, my husband and son. Okay, let's, let's you and I do this together. Uh, let's believe God for a miracle, okay? Uh, right now, I want, you to, I want you to say the sinner's prayer with me, okay? And Thank you. Okay, I am convinced by God's word. Pardon me? Just, say, just repeat this prayer with me. I am convinced by God's word. I am convinced by God's word. That I am a lost sinner. That I am a lost sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ. Died for sinners. Died for sinners. And shed his blood. And shed his blood. To put away my sins. To put away my sins. I now receive him. I now receive him. As my personal Lord and Savior. As my personal Lord and Savior. And will by his help. I will by his help. Confess him before men. Confess, confess before, men. before men. Amen. Amen. And we're believing that uh, John and Tom, God's grace is going to fall upon them in a very special way and that they're going to come to that saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ in a very special way. Also, your prayer request, you also needed uh, your cousin has cancer and had a stroke also as well, right? No, uh, my cousin Tom had a stroke and his wife has cancer. Uh, your cousin Tom is the one that has uh, uh, had a stroke and uh, his wife has cancer. I'm going to have uh, uh, Father Ruki pray for them right now for healing, okay? Thank you. Heavenly Father, you have the greatest case of Alzheimer's in the whole universe. You not only forgive, you forget. You, you throw our sins over your shoulder, as the you. psalmist reminds us. You, we ask you now to remove all obstacles Thank to the you. healing of these holy people, Thank that they can be healed with Jesus' blood. We ask this in his all-powerful name, the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. And we love you and thank you for calling. Thank you. God bless you. Rainbow, you're on the air. What is your prayer request this morning? Hello, Blackie. Uh, yes, I'm calling on behalf of a very, very precious dear sister in the Lord. She's Catholic, and uh, she doesn't want her name given, but she's uh, 
very, very ill with an issue of blood that she shouldn't be having, and she's had it for a long time. She's going to the doctor on Tuesday, but I wanted to lift her in prayer and, and uh, have prayer for her healing. Rainbow, do you need a healing from God right now yourself? Oh, I could always use one, but I'm calling for my sister. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell you what, uh, when, when, Father, when Father Ruki gave me this prayer that he's been using uh, in every service that he's done, and the people have been healed in a tremendous way, I received it in a very special way, and I believe that God's going to heal you in a very special way, and, uh, and also that person, uh, that your, your friend, that has the issue of blood. So, Father uh, Ruki, would you pray for that? Heavenly Father, you sent your Son, who gave his last drop of blood to save us. May his blood flow through the veins and our, our arteries of this holy person, cleansing, healing them in every way. We ask this in the all-powerful name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Rainbow, we love you and thank you so much for calling. Thank you, Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. Rainbow happens to be a, a tremendous artist, Father Ruki. She's the one that painted this painting of Moses. Oh, my God. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. It seems like God always tells me that. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. So she gave me that painting, and she's a beautiful artist. She also gave me that painting behind you, which is San Santuario de Chimayo. And uh, uh, that's an original. So she, and she loves Jesus in a very special way. Roberta, you're on the air. What is your Good morning. Is your uh, good morning, Blackie. Good morning, Father Rookie. I want to thank the Lord for sending you, Father Rookie, to us. Um, I attended your healing service on the 18th, on Tuesday night, and um, I thank the Lord. I know that we did have some spiritual healings. I brought as many family members as I could to the healing. I personally want to ask for your special prayers for, um, I would love to live, to love I would love to love with the heart of Jesus and to learn to forgive with the heart of Jesus. And that is my, um, my request. You would like for God to give you that heartbeat of Jesus, that mind of Christ, and that's where you're able to imitate Jesus in your daily life. That's what your prayer request is? That's right. That's a wonderful prayer request. And Father uh, Ruki will pray for you, and I believe God's going to give you that. Oh. Heavenly Father, we are reminded of your great servant, Paul, who tells us, put on the mind of Christ. Amen. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you and give you glory. This is a prayer of the heart. Yes. This is a prayer yes. to again acquire the image and likeness of, that you gave uh, that you gave us when you first created us yes, Jesus. and I know in your goodness you will answer this humble prayer Thank you, Jesus. because we ask in the all-powerful name yes. of Jesus the Lord amen Roberta thank you so much we love you thank you very much Rosemary, you're on the air. What is your prayer request? Um, I would like for uh, the Father to pray for my mother who has cancer and had 40% of her lung removed, and my aunt who is dying up in Sacramento, California, and my grandmother, and for Sam and Eddie May, and myself, and my son, so he could accept Jesus in his life. Well, who do you receive Jesus in your life? Pardon me? That? My son, Omar. Okay, well, every single prayer request that you're bringing before God, I'm truly believing that God's going to answer because in Jeremiah 33, 3, it says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things thou knowest not. And every prayer that has come to this station, God is answering. So we're believing that with everyone out there praying with Father Ruki, that God is going to answer that prayer. So would you pray, Father? Heavenly Father, you, asked, you told us to ask all things through your Son, Jesus, as he himself told us. He put us up to this, Heavenly Father. Ask the Father anything in my name. Yes, he Jesus. will give it to you. Hallelujah. And so we humbly ask, 
And we know that you answer the plea of this believing daughter. We ask it in the name of Jesus the Lord, your son. Amen. And Rosemary? Are you yes. There? Yes. And I believe that God's going to grant you the desires of your heart. Read uh, Psalms 37, verse 3, 4, and 5, okay? Thank you. God bless you. Sister Orlinda, you're on the air. What is your prayer request this morning? My prayer request is for my mother and for my father. My mother suffers from Alzheimer's, and that's been a couple of years. And my father has arthritis real bad. So if he could, uh, if Father Rookie could pray for them, and uh, hopefully God will grant them a miracle. We're going to believe God for a miracle. Uh, the first prayer request, Father Rookie, is for Alzheimer's. And uh, the other one is for arthritis. Again, Heavenly Father, we remind you that you, as we say, the tongue in cheek, in cheek has the worst case of Alzheimer's in the whole universe, and you not only forgive, Thank you forget. You. Yes. And so we ask you to share the power of Jesus in yes. this holy person and restore those beautiful faculties which, he's lost, he, what, which they have lost. We ask this in the all-powerful name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Sister Alinda, thank you for calling. We love you. Thank you. Be sure and get into the Word. Everyone, concur I encourage each one of us to get into the Word, stay in the Word. Remember, this weekend is a tremendous time to spend time in the Lord. On Saturdays and Sundays, boy, you can spend three hours in the Word, and by the time you go to church, you go rejoicing in, in the presence of God. Lisa, you're on the air. What is your prayer request? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, my prayer request is this. I need prayer that to resolve a problem with an insurance company. I was seen at a doctor's office, my primary doctor, on the 16th of January, and from there I was sent to see the specialist for uh, my varicose veins to, to get a... Uh, uh, an ultrasound to make sure that I didn't have a blood clot because I've had phlebitis and blood clots before. And now the I, I went straight from my doctor's office to the other doctors, and now the, the ComEd is refusing to pay because apparently the, the nurses or someone didn't do what they were supposed to do to get the referral by phone. So because of this, uh, they're saying that I've been a member since 1988 and should know better than to go to see another doctor without a referral. Well, he was either go to the doctor or go to the emergency, but uh, that's not the point. The point is that they, they are refusing, and uh, I am in a lot of distress, and this is almost $500, and if they don't pay, I mean, they'll probably force me to pay it, and I, I want this problem resolved and that I find favor with God and man and these people that are uh, in charge of this uh, problem here. Lisa, also God says... Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. So he wants us to rejoice. And then he says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. And that's what you're doing. But rejoice. Okay, remember, obeying God's word is where you enter into the blessings, obeying God's word. So God says, rejoice in the Lord always. No matter what's happening, rejoice because God is the one that's going to answer your prayers. So Father uh, Rookie, would you pray? I think you've already <laughs> prayed beautifully. And the, the word of God is life, and you have given God's word. We know that life will be shared now through that powerful word. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. Receive that, Lisa. It's yours, okay? Thank you. God bless you, and God bless you. Baruch Hashem, bless his name. Amen. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Elohim Savaod. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and Jacob, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to go for a short message. We'll be back with more in just a few minutes. When we pray, we lay a foundation for great things to happen. When you become an intercessor, whether you know it or not, or ever see it, you've caused something to happen. It is direct communication between you and the Lord. And heal our land. Wondrous things happen when only one person prays. Can you imagine the power of prayer in thousands? That's what intercession is. And you are called an intercessor. Multitudes of groups of prayer bring great power and God listens. 
Intercessors, this is a call to you. Please pray for stations KCHF TV 11 and KDAZ Radio that these stations' needs will be met. Please pray for our state, the church, our government, our people, and nation, because all we need is your prayers, and God will hear. If you would like to become an intercessor, please call 345-1991 or 473-1111 in Santa Fe. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Boy, I'll tell you what, we've been having a wonderful time with uh, Father Rookie over here. Betty, you're on the air. What is your prayer request this morning? My prayer request is to pray for my friend who called me to watch you this morning. Oh, wonderful. She's a wonderful person. I got her message. I haven't had a chance to call her back. Uh, she has problems. She's got real bad headaches all the time. And I would really like prayers for her. I want, you know, I want prayers for, 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 one, for one of the members of my families, too. They, they have real bad headaches. And uh, uh, Father Rookie, would you pray for that? I want you, I want you to pray for one of my daughters. Uh, 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 and that, that's my daughter, Mary Kay. And, and, the, and the prayer request that Betty has. Thanks, too. What's her name? Her Hi. name is Edwina Mora. Okay. And my husband has real bad headaches, too, all the time. Okay, let's believe God for a miracle for all of them right now. Heavenly Father, you've given us our bodies and the head is the important part of our body. If our heads are not working, then the whole body suffers. We ask you, Lord, to restore health, mind to, this, to these people who are suffering here and all of those who are suffering. Well, you know the power of suffering because Jesus suffered and saved us through his suffering. But if you find it in your mercy, Lord, to heal these people who ask in faith through the wounds of Jesus, we ask you do so. And we ask all these things in your, the all-powerful name of your son, Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Betty, thank you for calling. We love you and God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless all of you. Father, Father Ruki, would you pray one prayer request for us? My prayer request is that God will allow us to, to take this TV station and radio station. We have four TV stations and a radio station. And that God would allow us to propagate the gospel around the world. Why not? Okay. This is... This is... Jesus... We remember your words before you left us. They must have been the most important words. Go into the whole world, preach the gospel to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe whatsoever you have, I have told you. You've given mankind this wonderful institution for propagating your word. Lord, please bless the efforts of Blackie and all of his associates in this work of preaching your gospel, your good news yes. to all the world. As you back it up as Mark, your evangelist, reminds us in the 16th chapter the very last words of his account. And the disciples went forth, yes, Lord preaching everywhere. The Lord confirming the word with the many signs that follow. Continue to give the signs of your approval, Lord, to this great effort preaching your gospel through these wonderful modern means that you have given mankind, the television, the radio, and especially this particular station 11. We ask you to bless Blackie and all of his associates in a special way for their efforts to do just that. We ask it in the all-powerful name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father Ruki. Thank you so much. We only have about five minutes left, and I sure would like for you to say a prayer for the whole body that uh, is listening. We have a lot of Jewish people, 
We have people from our faith that uh, truly love God. They're listening right now. We, uh, I often uh, think of uh, it, how we, as Pius XI, one of our popes in the 30s, uh, said in one of his encyclicals, uh, we are all spiritually Semites, we Christians. And so we are so united, and uh, even our Muslim friends, uh, Mohammed took much of the Quran uh, from the Bible, which is uh, the first part of the Bible is all Jewish uh, wonders, the Lord. And so we are all in this together, and we all worship you, one, the one true God. Yes. And so we invoke your power, Heavenly Father. You are the Father of us all. Yes. I remember uh, in uh, Medjugorje, uh, one of the visionaries is quoted as having asked Our Lady who the holiest woman in Medjugorje was. And she said it was a Muslim woman. It was the closest one to God in that place. So we know that we are all children of the one Father, and you honor us, uh, Heavenly Father, uh, as we look up to you, your children. You made us, you know, of what we are made, as the psalmist said, who created us. You know us from, from our beginning to our end. We thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer, because we ask in the powerful name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I think we have two minutes left. Uh, can yes. we go over this prayer? We're going to uh, pray with you now <clears throat> a prayer we always pray before we lay on hands. But uh, we've discovered, as if we needed to, that uh, God's power is not limited by time or space. It goes out over the airwaves all over. And uh, <clears throat> we get letters from all five continents to the uh, effect of this uh, simple dedication prayer uh, where we give ourselves entirely to the Lord. And they say they were healed just by praying that Thanks. prayer. So we know that God answers prayers even from a distance. <clears throat> we invite you now to... Uh, Keep your eyes fixed on the Lord as we give ourselves entirely to him. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I come before you just as I am, just as I am. I am sorry for my sins. I am sorry for my sins. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. In your name. In your name. I forgive all others. I forgive all others. For what they have done against me. For what they have done against me. I renounce Satan. I renounce Satan. The evil spirits. The evil spirits. And all their works. And all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus. Now and forever. Now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you. I accept you. As my Lord. As my Lord. My God. My God. And my Savior. And my Savior. Please heal me. Please heal me. Change me. Change me. Strengthen me. Strengthen me. In body, in soul, body, and spirit. Soul and spirit. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Cover me with your precious blood. Cover me with your precious blood. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your <clears throat> Holy Spirit. I love you, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I shall follow you. 
I shall follow you every day of my life. Every day of my life. Mary, mother, mother of God. Mary, mother of God. Mother of sorrows. Mother of sorrows. <clears throat> Queen of our Americas. Queen of our Americas. Saint Peregrine, the Cancer Saint. Saints, Peregrine, the Cancer Saints. All you angels and saints. All your angels and saints. Please come to our aid. Please come to our aid. Amen and amen. Amen and amen and amen. And as we said, thank you, thank you, Jesus, we say, Toda Lecha Yeshua. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your love, for your mercy. Thank you for having Father Ruki over here. God of Abraham, of Isaac, and Jacob, we ask that you would continue to hold him with your strong, righteous right hand. Continue to anoint him. Continue to allow him to do walk in divine health every day of his life. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you. Amen yeah, and amen. It gives a Jewish uh, yes, blessing please. right out of the Bible. Yes, one. please. Um, Lord told Moses, uh, when Aaron and his sons bless the people, he should bless them in this way. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord look kindly upon you and grant you his peace. Amen. Your peace, Lord, that surpasses all understanding. Amen. Well, you know, that's what I was looking for. Well, you know, I had it on numbers. It's on numbers, and that's what yes. I was looking for. That's what God has placed in my heart to pray that prayer at the end. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Thank you, thank you. In fact, I have that prayer in, uh, in the hall that this doctor, medical doctor, a uh, Jewish doctor from Israel brought to me, Dr. Moshe Schuster. That's what they gave me as the gift when I went to Israel. Oh, yeah. That same prayer. Anyway, we've run out of time. God bless you all. We love you. Shalom, shalom.